Welcome back to Celestial Chronicles, your go-to place for exploring the rich and fascinating stories from the Bible. Today, we're diving into one of the most intriguing and mysterious figures in biblical history, Melchizedek. Who was Melchizedek? Why is he significant? By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of this enigmatic character and his role in the grand tapestry of the Bible. So, sit back, relax, and let's explore together. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our Celestial Chronicles community for more enlightening content. Hello, Celestial Chronicles family. Today, we're on a journey to uncover the secrets of a figure who has puzzled scholars and fascinated believers for centuries, Melchizedek. So, who was Melchizedek, and why is he such an important figure in the Bible? Melchizedek is first mentioned in the book of Genesis. He appears suddenly and without much background. In Genesis 14 verses 18 to 20, we read that Melchizedek was the king of Salem and a priest of God Most High. This brief appearance raises many questions. Where did he come from? Why does he matter? Let's break it down. Melchizedek's name itself is intriguing. It means king of righteousness in Hebrew. As the king of Salem, which is often identified with Jerusalem, his title can also be interpreted as a king of peace. So, Melchizedek is both a king of righteousness and a king of peace. One of the key moments involving Melchizedek is his encounter with Abraham. After Abraham's victory over several kings, Melchizedek meets him, bringing bread and wine. He blesses Abraham and praises God for the victory. In return, Abraham gives Melchizedek a tenth of everything he has. This act of giving a tithe is significant. It shows Abraham's recognition of Melchizedek's authority and his acknowledgement of God's blessing through Melchizedek. Have you ever wondered why Abraham, a key patriarch in the Bible, would give a tithe to someone seemingly out of nowhere? What does this tell us about Melchizedek's status and importance? The Bible doesn't provide much information about Melchizedek's background, family, or lineage. This lack of detail adds to his mysterious aura. Unlike most biblical figures, there's no genealogy or historical context provided for him. In the book of Hebrews, Melchizedek is described as without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginning of days or end of life. This description has led to various interpretations. Some scholars believe Melchizedek could be a theophany, a manifestation of God in human form. Others see him as a type of Christ, a precursor to Jesus, who is both a king and a priest. What do you think? Could Melchizedek be a divine figure, or is he a symbol of something greater? The New Testament book of Hebrews sheds more light on Melchizedek's significance. Hebrews 7 elaborates on his role and draws parallels between Melchizedek and Jesus. According to Hebrews, Melchizedek is greater than Abraham, since Abraham paid him tithes and was blessed by him. This passage emphasizes that Melchizedek's priesthood is eternal, unlike the Levitical priesthood that came later. Hebrews 7 verse 3 says, He is without father or mother or genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but resembling the Son of God he continues a priest forever. This eternal priesthood is a key point. It sets the stage for understanding Jesus as our eternal high priest, following the order of Melchizedek. Another significant aspect of Melchizedek's story is the bread and wine he offers to Abraham. This act is seen by many as a foreshadowing of the Last Supper, where Jesus offers bread and wine to his disciples. The symbolism here is profound. Just as Melchizedek brought sustenance and blessing to Abraham, Jesus offers spiritual nourishment and blessing to all believers through his sacrifice. The term order of Melchizedek is often used to describe Jesus' priesthood. But what does this mean? The Levitical priests, descendants of Aaron, had a temporary and imperfect priesthood. In contrast, Jesus, like Melchizedek, holds a permanent and perfect priesthood. This idea is central to understanding the book of Hebrews and its message about the superiority of Christ's priesthood. Have you ever thought about how the concept of an eternal priesthood impacts your understanding of Jesus' role and his work in our lives today? So, why is Melchizedek significant for us today? Understanding Melchizedek helps us appreciate the depth and continuity of God's plan throughout the Bible. It connects the Old and New Testaments, showing that God's plan for salvation through Jesus was established long before his earthly ministry. Melchizedek serves as a bridge, linking the promises made to Abraham with the fulfillment in Jesus Christ. As we wrap up, let's consider some questions together. What does Melchizedek's story teach us about God's eternal plan? How does the mystery surrounding his identity enhance our understanding of biblical history? And most importantly, how does seeing Jesus as our eternal high priest, following the order of Melchizedek, impact your faith journey? I'd love to hear your thoughts and insights. Please share your answers in the comments below. Let's get a conversation going and learn from each other. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of Melchizedek. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more deep dives into biblical stories and insights. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep growing in your faith. God bless.